So I'm making a savory breakfast for once. So you need mushrooms, about 100 or 50 grams of mushrooms. You can use whatever mushrooms you like. And some cherry tomatoes. And then you're gonna saute or fry them on medium heat. You can use oil or you can use some water. And then you add a splash of liquid smoke, some onion powder, some tamari or soy sauce and some agave or maple syrup. Stir that around and then you will have um, bacon flavored mushrooms. lunch I'm making stuffed sweet potatoes and this recipe is from my recipe app you can check out the link down below if you want to check the app out so I'm gonna start with some sweet potatoes I'm gonna cut them in half then you're gonna place them on an oven tray to bake them in the oven for about 40 minutes on 200 degrees celsius for the salsa we're gonna need a red onion which you're gonna chop up into tiny pieces and a tomato, one or two tomatoes, which you're also gonna cut up in small pieces. And then some fresh basil. And mix that around. I forgot to show you uh, pepper and salt, but you wanna add some pepper and salt as well. Set that aside and make the dressing. I'm using vegan sour cream and a garlic club. You can use also unsweetened coconut yogurt or regular unsweetened vegan yogurt if you like. So you're gonna press that garlic club and add a tablespoon of lemon juice and some salt and then you're gonna stir this up until it becomes smooth and then you may need to add some extra water depending on how thin or how thick you want it. Next up is the chickpeas. You're gonna rinse them well and then add some garlic powder or onion powder and some paprika powder. Toss them around until they are covered and then when the potatoes are half done, you're gonna remove the tray from the oven and add the chickpeas on the same oven tray and then bake what's left on the potatoes. So when the potatoes are done, I like to fluff them up like this with a fork. Uh, I don't know, I think it becomes more yummy and then you're just gonna assemble your potatoes starting with the chickpeas and then the salsa that we made before and last but not least the dressing and it's ready to serve For snack I'm making my favorite summer smoothie. I'm using two bananas and four cups of frozen strawberries. Then I'm adding Vivo Life, the new flavor strawberry vanilla. This combination is so good. So I'm using one scoop of that. Then I'm adding some almonds and some plant milk. I always use sprout pea milk in my smoothies and then you're just gonna blend this up until it becomes a smooth and a thick smoothie. If you want it thinner than this you can always add some extra plant milk to it. And seriously, if you try this one, let me know what you think because this is my new favorite 
go-to summer thick strawberry shake and by the way I made this for two servings so yeah the other one is for Pontus For dinner I'm making colorful peanut noodles and this is a recipe in my app as well and it actually calls for tofu but I had tempeh in my fridge so why not use that I actually like tempeh more than tofu. So you're just gonna chop this up into like tiny cubes and you're gonna place them in a container. Then I'm gonna add some tamari sauce or soy sauce, depending on what you like. Add the lid on and give it a nice shake until the sauce is covered. Transfer the cubes to an oven tray and bake on 180 Celsius degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna chop up some veggies and you can basically use whatever veggies you like, but I'm using a yellow bell pepper and I'm also using half of a cucumber, which I'm slicing very thin. I'm also gonna use some cherry tomatoes I love buying them in different colors because it makes the salad look prettier. Then I'm also gonna use some red cabbage, which I'm gonna marinate in some lime juice. I'm giving the kale some massage because otherwise it becomes so stiff and when you massage it, it becomes more like soft and easier to chew. For the dressing is a half a cup of peanut butter a half of a lime juice, the juice of a half lime and then I'm also adding one tablespoon of agave syrup you can also use maple syrup but I didn't have that at home then I'm adding one tablespoon of tamari sauce you can also use soy sauce for this and also some chili flakes to give it a nice stingy flavor and then you're just gonna stir this up until it becomes smooth if you want it thinner than this you are gonna need to add some water and then you're gonna stir it again until you get the consistency that you like time to assemble i actually forgot to show you the noodles but here they are um oops <laughs> It's brown rice noodles, so you can use whatever noodles you like. And then I'm adding the cabbage, the cucumber, and yeah, I'm just adding the rest of the veggies and then the tempeh and the dressing, and then it's ready to serve. I was craving something sweet this evening, so I made some mini like pizza slices. This tool is a lifesaver, I don't even know what it's called. Anyways, I'm slicing up the apple into yeah, mini pizzas. The star of this recipe, I'm adding some peanut butter on top of the slices. You can also use almond butter, cashew nut butter, or whatever peanut or nut butter that you like. And then I'm adding some walnuts, you can use whatever nuts you like, and some cacao nibs. Feel free to drizzle some maple syrup on this. And this is it. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and then I'll see you in the next one.